All right, so in this video, we are going to learn how to resize our images so that they can fit to the required sizes within Facebook. So for the single image portion, we're going to want to go with 1200 by 628. Now, statistically, a home within the area works. A home in general works. People work, right? Because we're on Facebook interacting with people. So those three types of, of images are what we like to utilize, right? Whether it's a home that's in the area that we're targeting, a home that is within the free stock images within Facebook, and or people, right? Whether it's a family, maybe it's you, maybe it's your team just somewhat of an up close kind of face uh, shot to where people can associate because what's going to happen is it's going to grab their attention. So we'll go into actually editing the image. It's very simple. What we're going to want to do is this. We'll go to pixlr.com. Go launch web app. As this opens up here, it's going to give us several different options. I'm assuming that you have an image already on your computer. We're going to open it, select the image itself, and then open. Now, the next step is really all we have to do. You don't have to worry about anything else. This one is already pre-sized at 1200 by 628, but don't worry about that. It's very simple. We're gonna come up to the image tab, go to image size, the first drop down. From here is where we'd insert our actual sizing that we would want to satisfy, right? Obviously for here, it's 1200 by 628. Sometimes we need 1080 by 1080. Now what happens is if you'll notice, if I adjust and type things in here, the bottom one adjusts also, right? So it's going to fit properly as it says here, constraint proportions. So if you wanted something unique, and you didn't want the bottom one to change. And let's say we wanted a 1000 by 750. We would just go in there, select the sizes we need, hit OK. Now let's go into adjust. After it adjusts, the next thing we need to do is just go to file, save, name it how you want to, right? We like to identify the area. Uh, what home image it is, right? This one is number two, because obviously that tells me that there's more than one that we have uh, available for us. Then what I like to do is put the actual image size that we've changed it to, just so I don't have to dig into every single file and know, right? So essentially we can go and look for it manually on our computer folders, and it'll be able to be right there within the file name. So something we do here, like we see here, Sacramento home, number two, 1,000 by 750. I'm going to save it. It's literally that easy. So we'll come back over here. Now, obviously, I know it's not the 1,200 by 628. I was just making that image size so you could see. We would add more images and select whichever one we chose. Right, here's the Sacramento home, number two, 1,000 by 750. I would open, choose that one. Now what's going to happen is, since there are two images right here, however many images we load when we're using the single image portion, as you can read right there, it says, create up to six ads with one image, right? So what happens is you can go through and actually, um, I, I think this one, <laughs> this is actually the one I, I wanted to read, to be honest with you, because that didn't make sense. I mean, you can duplicate other ad content, but for what the example I was going down, this is the one I want to read, or I wanted to read, excuse me. You can create up to six ads at once by uploading multiple images, right? So for instance, on this portion, the message would all be the same. The only thing that would change out the next time would be the image, right? So the content stays the same and the image changes. And so Facebook itself will actually go and distribute this ad accordingly. And this image ad, if we had another one, two, three, four, five, or six, it would start rotating through those. And we'd be able to get the data and information 
um, which one is performing better? And we will go over those things in a later video, but I wanted you to see how easy and simple it is to be able to go and adjust your images to whatever size you need, right? You don't need a graphic designer. You don't have to have a super technical background, but you will want the actual uh, images to be sized correctly. Now, as you go through and load them, obviously come through and make sure that they look good on Facebook, right? Because I just double check it. I want to make sure, you know, I mean, obviously the one, the, excuse me, the two campaigns we're most uh, focused on essentially are the desktop news feeds and the mobile news feeds. I don't really worry too much about the feature phones. There's not many of those that exist. So um, once again, just make sure that your image looks good. It's not pixelated, not blurry, and you can clearly see what image uh, that you had just loaded. So on to the next video and the next lesson.